I have no idea what this video is yet. I'm going to make two videos. It has to be under 30 minutes. And there's no timer on this, so... Uh, yeah, so I totally drifted off the topic of Christopher Hitchens. And, you know, I'd, I'd love to sit here all day and make videos about him. But I think, you know, you should really go and look and see. Especially if you've never heard of him. Um, and I know a lot of my friends, like on Facebook, you know, who are, uh, either they live in Alpena here, or are involved in the Occupy movement, or, you know, members of Anonymous, or whoever you are, um, you may not be familiar with Christopher Hitchens. But I, I know most of you who are atheists know who he is. And if you're an atheist who doesn't know who Christopher Hitchens um, was, slash, is, you know, then, uh, you should definitely check him out. Um, like I said, he was, uh, he was bold. You know, very confident. And very intelligent. You know, there was nobody... No one that I've seen, and of course I'm biased, but uh, no one I've ever seen him debate has managed to beat him. No one can outsmart him, or could. Um, let's see. I'll just watch this other video down here. Um, Christopher Hitchens, 1949 to 2001. And by the way, I hate... Uh, I dislike the uh, Christian dating system, even if you call it uh, Common Era versus Anno Domini. It's still it's still a date that's not important. The numbers are too big. We could start over, you know, and say this is the year 12. Um, I think we should choose a better milestone personally. Um, I think uh, I think the date that uh, the first life form went into space would be a good date. Uh, April 12th, 1961. I think it was fruit flies or something. Or the date the first human went into space. You know? Which, uh, um, I should know this, Yuri Gagarin, I think it was Yuri, but, um, yeah, Yuri Gagarin, um, but that, you know, I don't know, it's, a, it's not really relevant to this, <laughs> but in a way it is, it's this fucking Christianity pushing its bullshit on, like, a, the very date that we use. So it's like a constant reminder. You gotta, you gotta admit, like, if you're an atheist, that just bothers you. You know, maybe it doesn't bother you at all, and you're an atheist. But, it does bother me. It's always bothered me. I've never understood why we use this date. Um, but then again, I've never thought of Christianity as something that important. You know, or the date that Christ was born, which I guess is like technically uh, 4 A.D. Or some such nonsense. And, yeah, I'm sure you noticed, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a big alcohol drinker, and, you know, I'm not proud to keep a straight face when I drink alcohol. Um, I guess if I used, got used to it, you know, it, uh... I just do it, and the reaction would go away. But still, I get that, you know, nasty reaction. So, but it's enjoyable. And, you know, it's relaxing. It's I don't. There's a lot of benefits of alcohol, but definitely I wouldn't do it in large quantities regularly. I am absolutely convinced that the main source of hatred in the world 
is religion. It's probably going to be some of the same things. Um, they got quotes on there, I too. I think it should be treated with ridicule and hatred and contempt. And I claim that right. Yeah, probably a lot of the same stuff. yourself and taking all the risks and I might add all the pleasures that will come from that. The most overrated of the virtues is faith. It would have to mean that the designer of this plan was unbelievably lazy and inept or unbelievably callous and cruel, and indifferent, and capricious. And that is the case with every argument for design, and every argument for revelation and intervention that has ever been made. security, the offer of an impermeable faith that can't give way, is an offer of something not worth having. I want to live my life taking the risk all the time that I don't know anything like enough yet, that I haven't understood enough, that I can't know enough, that I'm always hungrily operating on the, on the margins of, of a potentially great harvest of future knowledge and wisdom. I wouldn't have it any other way. And I'd urge you to look at those of you who tell you, those people who tell you at your age that you're dead till you believe as they do. Don't think of that as a gift. Think of it as a, think of it as a poison chalice. Push it aside however tempting it is. Take the risk of thinking for yourself. Much more happiness, truth, beauty, and wisdom will come to you that way. Keeping things on this. 
subject matter. You know, I don't write scripts. I don't, uh, I don't pick a topic and stick to it. You know, I've always thought about the universe and life, and, and it's just something I pretty much thought about every day in some way or another. Just, just ask the, the question, you know, what is this? What's going on? And uh, just try to understand it better, you know? I guess that's part of uh, being a free thinker, you know? I've had Christians uh, insult me for calling me that. <laughs> You're not a free thinker. If you were a free thinker, you'd, you'd stop saying that I was wrong. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've heard it. I heard that before when I was in Grand Rapids. I know I was going around telling people, you know, I was a member of the, uh, was it, the West Michigan Free Thought Association. I think it was um, about 12 years ago in Grand Rapids. Now they're they've joined the Center for Inquiry, which seems to be just gobbling up all the little atheist groups around the country. And you know, no, no offense to that. You know, it's great that you're all trying to get on the same page. And even I'm in a couple of the. Uh, you know, I like the groups, but, um, I don't know, I don't know how much I'm for that, you know, kind of like Sam Harris said, you know, why do we call ourselves atheists, you know, he, he disagrees with us calling ourselves atheists, even, I mean, it's obvious we are atheists, but, but why do we give ourselves a title as if to dismiss everything else? You know, in the Center for Inquiry, I mean, what is that? Uh, you know, it's just kind of like another title, another organization that you can say you're a part of, another way of you know, coming together. And I guess it's good for some reasons, you know. Um, you know, I don't know, uh, sports fans come to mind, if you can say, you know, you're, you're pro Red Wings or pro Knicks or something, um, you know, you can find other fans of that sort of thing, other people who care about the sorts of things that you do, and you can relate to them, and I imagine that's one of the lures, or allures, of religious organizations. I mean, there is a church just two blocks down the street. And, you know, I'm sure if I cleaned myself up and, you know, sat quietly and, you know, socialized with people afterwards, yeah, I could find that. But I would never find comfort in subscribing to that system. You know, it's, it's bullshit. It straight up is. And uh, if you're a Christian watching this, you know it's bullshit. Don't don't kid yourself. Okay? Don't kid yourself. Don't don't fuck with your children. And don't fuck with the rest of us. Seriously. Um You're not that stupid. And we're not that stupid.